Howdy everyone, your Pyrel here with some more Pokemon XD. Last episode, we rescued the people at OMBS from Cypher, but unfortunately, Cypher managed to get back the data ROM that Net or Sec, one of the two, was deciphering, and they also wiped out the data from OMBS. But we did learn that Cypher is going to be attacking Fennec City next. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head over there. And I'm just gonna quickly run around. Actually, no, I don't need to just run back and forth. What I'm gonna quickly do before we head over to Fennec City, which is... I love the place. It's really nice. But I'm gonna quickly head over to Agate Village so I can buy some Pokeballs. And also, Makuhita's Heart Gauge is actually really, really close to being down. And then since we're gonna be here in the area, or we're already here in the area, might as well use that opportunity to purify him. Oh, and they added Pokesnacks. Actually, I think now Pokeballs are going to be available in other Pokemarts. But I, I just came here just because. Just because the Relic Stone is here, so. Yeah. And let's see. Should I? I mean, there are lemonades and whatnot, so I think I'm set in terms of that. I might actually buy... There's no full heals here. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> also, I did place the Shadow Pokemon that we got, like, just from the OMBS attack into the Purify Chamber, so they'll gradually be ready to be purified. Like Makuhita. Makuhita can now be purified. Which also means we get to give him a nickname. Very exciting. Very, very exciting indeed. And I already have a nickname in mind as well. Uh, Makuhita. Also, um, that, that Ralts that we snagged, it has a Twisted Spoon on it, so... I actually took that off the Ralts and I'm gonna give it to Eugene. Just so Eugene can hit like a truck even more! Like a bigger truck. Like the truck from Sonic Adventure 2. That kind of truck. That truck hits hard. And there you go, Brick Break. Nice. Refresh, I, I'm not really too interested in that. But Brick Break. I like that. And Fake Out. Perfect. Perfect. I don't need Refresh. Even though it is a special move for you, you don't quite need it. This is going to come in handy. Oh, level 20. Nice. 21. Wow, you are gaining all sorts of levels here. Cool. Oh, wait! I forgot to give the nickname. Ah, crap. Press B out of habit. <laughs> That's my bad. It's a good thing I'm in the area since the name raider is right here. But as for nicknames here, I am going to be nicknaming you Johnny. For one, my friend Rob Salmons, he actually suggested that over in our little group chat that we have for the Let's Play Brigade. But this actually has a little bit of a meaning for me because Johnny is the name of a character in the Karate Kid franchise, Johnny Johnny Lawrence, he is the bully from Karate Kid, the first Karate Kid movie, and in the, I don't want to say a reboot series, but like, in the series that precedes the events of the first three Karate Kid movies, Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence becomes the sensei of the Cobra Kai dojo, and I really love Cobra Kai, so... I decided to name Makahita after Johnny Lawrence. Because Cobra Kai. It's a cool series. Definitely recommend it. Anyways, with that done, we can now finally head on over to Fennec City. Let's go warn the mayor. This place looks gorgeous, but the music seems weird. Welcome to Fennec, and hooray! Congratulations! 
incredible as it may seem, you're exactly the one millionth visitor to Fennec. In commemoration, please accept this, a disc case, which already comes with some battle CDs. Okay. We got battle CD-01. Battle CD-07. And battle CD-20. Okay. Then you want me to take them to... Relgam Tower. Or Realgam Tower. I say Relgam. Next to the town. Go, go, go! Okay, it's a short ways away in the northwest. You'll see it right away. Okay, it's a top battling facility where trainers can enjoy battle sims among other events using battle CDs. Off you go. Have a good time. Okay. Um, but I have some, some business here. Oh, hi. How was it? The Ralgum Tower, I mean. Oh, okay. Well, you... I guess you really, really want me to go and have a good time. Well, I guess we can... Take a little time off to have some fun here. I mean, I'm pretty sure Cypher won't attack Fennec City just yet. Also, I love this song! I love this song here in Ralgum Tower. It's really catchy. What is it with these battle CD things? Pokemon appear alright, but when the battle ends, they just fade away. You don't get to keep them? Oh, sheesh, I dropped all my secret savings in them because I thought I'd get rare Pokemon for real. There goes money down the proverbial train. Let's get out of here. What do we do with these battle CD things? What good are they if they won't give us any Pokemon? Just toss them out somewhere. Okay. Wow, I never get over how tall this place is. Top of that tower is a Coliseum. I'd love to take part in Coliseum battles, but I'm afraid of heights. Well... You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm supposed to keep quiet about it, but I was the one millionth visitor of the Fennec City. So someone in Fennec gave me a battle CD as a memento. Well, don't you think that's lucky? I intend to stay around here for some more good times. Huh, that doesn't seem right. Okay then, there's the Coliseum battles, Battle Sims, and Battle Bingo. So many choices, I can't decide what kind of battle I should try today. Well, we're here. We might as well explore. Also, you know what? I got a I got an HP up and a protein, so you know I should use those. And also I need to give you to Eugene. Okay, protein. Um let's give you to Johnny. And let's give the HP up to Johnny as well. Cool. Anyways, Relgum Tower. Catchy music. Nice little model of the Colosseum. And we have fancy moving platforms that take us from room to room. I'll take this item. Carbos, that increases speed. Um, that would go good on... It'll go good on Livy. For later on. Anyways, over here on this side of Ralgum Tower is... I believe this is where the Pokemon Center is? Yeah. Phone, shut up. I don't really need to heal, though. Battle Bingo is an exciting challenge. I should I say this? It's fun because it makes you think about the types of Pokemon you face. Cool. And over to the other side, to the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Over here, I believe, is where the Pokemart is. I don't think this place here sells Pokeballs, though. Maybe? I'm thinking of entering Coliseum battles, but before I do that, I'll have to stock up on items. Yeah, stocking up on items is always a good thing. Yeah, Hyper Potions. We're not quite at a point where we need to buy those, and besides, we can buy Moo Moo Milks. Those are better. Let's see, full heals. Ooh, I'll take a few of those. And we have Revives. Also nice to have. I'll buy two of those. And we have some TMs here. This here, TM10, is Hidden Power. It... It's not random. The way Hidden Power's attack and its type is determined, because it could be any type except for normal, and it could have any... I believe its attack power can be, like, from... I believe the highest it can be is either 60 or 70. I think it's 60. But the way it's determined is through IVs, which is, uh... It's an in-depth mechanic that I don't really want to go over, but 
What I might do off screen is like find out what type of hidden power some of my Pokemon have, because if I get like really good hidden powers that like will give my Pokemon more type coverage, I might go for it. TM14 is Blizzard. It's a really powerful ice type move that hits both opponents. The accuracy leaves a little bit to be desired, but still handy. I don't think any Pokemon in my party can learn it though. Hyper Beam is TM15. It's a powerful move, but you do recharge after you use it, so you're you basically have like you're open for one turn. I don't recommend that. This here is no, not, not reflect. This one is light screen. It'll cause a barrier that will lower special attack damage in half for five turns. TM17 is protect. It will protect your Pokemon from getting hit with any attacks, but the chance of using it will go down if you use it in succession. I believe if you use it like twice in a row, like you have a 50% chance of seeding and just cuts in half each time. This here, Team 20, is Safeguard. It prevents your Pokemon from being inflicted with status conditions for five turns. TM25 is Thunder. Strong electric type move, but the accuracy isn't the best. I might get that for later on, maybe. TM33, this one is Reflect. It's the same as Light Screen, but with physical attacks. Or it increases defense instead of special defense. TM38 is Fire Blast powerful fire type attack. Again, accuracy leaves a little bit to be desired, but it is still pretty strong. And that's it. Pretty handy TMs there. Over here, back to the main chamber. If we go to the north, this will take us to where all of the main attractions are. Oof, I'm about... I felt a hiccup coming there. Let's see, I'm not saying Battle Sims aren't fun, they are, but I prefer doing things for real. Mount Battles are my style. Let me tell you what I'm striving at now. A non-stop 100 trainer run through Mount Battle. Good luck through that. Okay, welcome to Relgum Tower, the pride of Phoenix City. It is a fully integrated facility dedicated to battling. Trains may take part in Coliseum Battles, Battle Sims, and Battle Bingo. And we can earn Poke Coupons here, which can be exchanged for things. So yeah, this is one of the places where we can get Poke Coupons. Ultra Ball, that's nice. That's two times more effective than Pokeballs. Mayor Fennec used to drop in pretty much every day, but I haven't seen him around for some while now. Hope he's not sick or anything. Okay, now right here, this elevator will take us to the Coliseum, but we can't quite do that just yet because they're doing maintenance. That's a shame. And this here, I've seen you somewhere before. Um, where was it now? I remember now. You were on TV. You were with that mustache man. Mustache man. You know what? You look better on TV than per Wow, rude! Rude! Rude. Well, this here is the Battle Sim Room. So, we use Battle Seeds that we acquired. There's 50 of them. And, I guess, this place was broken into and they lost, like, a lot of their inventory. Oops. Yeah, I wonder who stole all those Battle Sim CDs. But yeah, we can we can buy some here. And I'm not going to go through all of the battle CDs just because there's 50 and some of them are actually pretty difficult uh, difficult to get. Also, I believe um if you buy all of these then there'll be more that open up. Sure, let's buy one. But um yeah. And you know what? Let's let's show off one. So battle CDs, are, uh, battle CDs are actually really cool. Like they each have their own little bit of difficulty and their own little challenge, and some of them like restrict you on like how many turns you have, things like that. They're they're actually really fun. Let's you think about like the different kinds of Pokemon that you're given to use here, and like the different types of strategies that are available. They're really neat. And actually, what I think I might do is I'll just put a list of the battle CDs that you can get. And also, I will be on the lookout for other battle CDs as well, even though I won't be... I won't be showing them off. I'll at least, like... Again, I'll put, like, a link to uh, Bulbapedia, since they have... Like, Bulbapedia, or maybe Serebii, maybe both. Like, since they have 
a list of like all the battle CDs and like where to get them and whatnot. But yeah, so this one, we have a Pidgeot against Atropius, and it's a two-turn single battle. So, um, okay. I think I know how to do this. Oh wait, no, I want to choose it. Whoops. Yeah, let, let's show off this one. And we also get to hear, like, the rad battle sim music again. So, that's cool. And again, if you want, like, a refresher on the requirements, just press X. There you go. Again, like, some of the battle CDs actually do have, like, interesting challenges as well. So, keep that in mind. And also, like, we, we get to see, like, different areas here. I, I believe this is in the Oasis Pokespot. Wow, I remembered that. Dang. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, Tropius here. I think the strategy is... I think we're faster than it right now, so go for a double edge? And then... After that, you go for a Gust. Hopefully, I mean, this is the last turn, and Gust can hit through Fly. Please let this work. Yes. Okay, good. Also, if you fail the challenge of a battle CD, or, like, if you lose the battle, then you will be given a hint. And also, whenever you clear a battle CD for the first time, you will get a reward for it. So, yay. I don't even know what the reward is for this one. Is it... Some of the rewards can actually be really good, too. Do you remember you're clearing Battle Cedo 1? The Super Potion. That's... Eh. I guess. Anyways, we have one more attraction here to see. So, let's go do that. Right over here, we have all, all of these slot machines that we can't really interact with. But this here is Battle Bingo. So Battle Bingo, it's... There's 16 panels arranged in a 4x4 grid. And we can turn them over, expose them and whatnot, flip over panels to form a vertical, a horizontal, or a diagonal line to get a bingo. Keep forming bingo lines until all panels are flipped over or you run out of moves. And there's 10 lines for every game. How do you play? At the start of the game, you'll have one Pokemon and two Master Balls. Your Pokemon will also have Entry Points, EP. To flip over a panel, you use one EP. If all your Pokemon use up with their EP, no more panels can be flipped over. At that point, it's game over for you. And on the first turn, you may select any one of the 16 panels and flip it over. The next panel that can be flipped over must be, must be next to an already flipped over panel. Think ahead and plan the sequence for flipping panels. There's different types of panels here. There's ones with question marks, and there's ones with Pokemon in them. And each panel that has Pokemon, they're gonna have like a different type associated with them. But yeah. And when you when you fight a Pokemon, um when you fight a Pokemon in one of the panels, it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one match. And you can either knock it out or use one of your Master Balls to catch it. If you catch it, yeah if you catch the Pokemon, you can use that Pokemon and it gives you more EP as well. And question mark panels, they can have either EP or Master Balls for you to use. When you get a bingo, you get additional EP, and you get Poke Coupons. You can end the game and just get ever, or however many Poke Coupons you get equal to however many lines you have, or how many bingos you have. But you get, you get better prizes if you complete the entire thing. And, and if you lose all of your EP, then you just lose and you don't get anything out of it. And there's different cards. There's novice cards, there's regular cards, there's expert cards. And also, I believe if you clear all of the cards, you get access to a harder difficulty for Battle Bingo. Where you can only... I think you can only select panels that are close to the ones 
or to the one that you activated or that you opened up last instead of just having the ability to freely choose panels that are next to ones that have already been open. I don't know if that made sense, but sure, let's show it off. And I'm going to start off with... I'm not going to show off all of these cards. I'm really only going to show off this one. This is the basic one here, so... We have... We start off with the Dragonair. And this, this here is just like to learn the rules of the game. Let's see, Pokemon Info. So our Dragonair has Outrage and Shed Skin. Um, what I'm gonna do is select this fire one here, and I'm just gonna use up my Master Ball. Torchic! Ooh, I think one of these panels has a Mudkip. I want it. I want Mudkip. I'm gonna look for it. Um, Outrage. What moves does this Torchic have? Or oh, it's only gonna have one move, but still. Also, Dragonair's like animation there is really cool. Okay, so we have three EP left. Um, flamethrower. Okay. I will then. Do this. Roselia. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take it. I don't think I actually wanna No, I I'll 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 capture this one. Give me some more EP. Okay, but where's the panel with Mudkip? Hmm. Let's see. What I'm gonna do here... Use up this EP here. Actually, what? You have Giga Drain. Not bad. I like that. Mudkip! Yes! Ah, oh, crap! You know, I don't have an extra Master Ball! Okay. This is where I give in. I'm using up an EP here. Kind of bad, but I want a Master Ball, so... Enter. Perfect! Which means that's gonna be EP. Uh, Torchic. I guess. I mean, I'm taking... I'm taking a Master Ball here, so... Or I'm using a Master Ball. I want this mud kip. I want this mud kip. Thank you. Thank you. Too bad I can't keep it. Okay, what do you have? Surf. Oh, that's actually a really nice move for this mud kip to have. Okay, this is going to be. Ooh, two EP. Um. You get one. And you. We'll also get one. Okay, Roselia, you can fight this. Hopefully this water type doesn't have any ice type moves. I don't think it will. Hmm. Yeah, like this will this will tell you the type of the Pokemon that you're facing, but it doesn't tell you what kind of moves they have, and like in the later difficulties, the Pokemon that you face could have some actually moves that would be really bad for you. Critical. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. But yeah, Battle Bingo is actually a ton of fun as well. I've cleared all of the boards before. I haven't done like the higher difficulty setting though, where like, again, you can only like, oh, uh, EP. You can get another one. But yeah, like, for example, in the higher difficulty, since I flipped open this Remoraid one, I could only choose one of the panels that are next to it, where here, in the normal difficulty, I can choose any of these other panels. Just a... just a neat little thing. Okay, so... I want to play the smart. I have... Mudkip here to do that, and then Roselia can clear that water panel. Ooh, Charmander! 
I don't know if the Pokemon that you see here register in your strategy memo. Hmm. That's something to consider. How dare you hurt Mudkip. Gosh, I really, really want to use Mudkip in this game, but it's not available. That's dumb. Also, if you have any remaining EP by the time you clear all of these panels and any remaining a uh, Master Balls, that just gets converted into extra Poke Coupons. Fun fact. Oh, they give you a tight matchup chart? Wow. Wow. Dang. Well, if you're already familiar with how the tight matchup chart goes, then, then you don't really need that, but... Uh, Roselia. Poliwag. Cool. This, sh this is gonna give us another bingo. Bingo bongo. Wow, Roselia, I'd expect you to be faster than this. It's just a tadpole. Then again, you are a plant. Nice. But yeah, if you go in like with the correct type matchup, then you're pretty much set. For the most part. Again, like, later difficulties will be harder, as to be expected. Um... Yeah, sure, let's do that. Then I can work my way down. And that'll clear two lines, actually. Chikorita. Also, let me check the summary of this Torchic that we got here. Oh, I can't. Oh, I was gonna... Like, I was kind of curious like, on what the original trainer, or even like the ID number would be, or like where this thing would, like say it was encountered. But no. Nope. That didn't happen. Okay. Roselia, you can clear that. Ooh, Totodile. But yeah, once I clear this bottom one after this Totodile panel, then that should... Give me two bingos. Which means two EP to use. Well, this is like the first card that we have, so... Like, it, it is... It is a really easy one, and it's like meant to just teach us the basics of Battle Bingo. Okay, this is our last EP. So if Mudkip can't beat this Vulpix, then there's something wrong. Let's just use Surf. How dare you? How dare you hurt Mudkip? Okay. Gosh, it's so cute! I want one! Why can't a trainer in this game have a Shadow Mudkip for me to snag? It's so rude of them not to. Well, whatever. Okay, um, there's that, and that. I'm going to clear out this panel first. Bulbasaur! And really, this is like the only time we're going to see Master Balls. I mean, that is kind of cool, at least. Also, this battle theme is really weird. It's only exclusive to Battle Bingo, but... It's cool. It's cool. Okay, so... Um... Let's do this first. Give ourselves an EP here. Ooh, a Squirtle! A Squirtle Squirt. Yeah, I don't think you have any, like, Ice-type attacks either. It would be really unfortunate if you did. It'd be very sad if that were the case. Uh, 
Okay, goodbye you. Give ourselves another bingo. Um, sure, let's flip over this. Although it doesn't really matter because my aim is to flip over this and this will give us some EP. Plus one, and then we get two more for two more bingos. So three, not bad. Um, okay, grass, then you, and you can get the extra one. I'm going to have Mudkip be the, be the one that deals the finishing blow here, just because gotta give that bias towards my favorite evolutionary line. You feel me? Okay, goodbye. You, we, we didn't even use Dragonair to fight at all, we just used Dragonair to like, just catch something. by you. Also, I don't know if all of the panels get shuffled between like each card or each time you play a card. Huh. I'm gonna need to... Yeah, I don't think... I don't, I don't know. Whatever. This is the last panel here. So, what? We saw all the... Kanto, Johto, and Hoenn starters, right? I think so. That's cool. And goodbye, Cyndaquil. Sweet. And we cleared a card. I can read. Let's see, you have completed 10 bingo lines, add up any remaining EP and Master Balls, and we get 240 Poke Coupons. Not bad. And we also get a reward for clearing a card the first time. Ethers. Nice. Nice, nice. Well, that's pretty much it. We've done everything that Relgum Tower has to offer, except for the Coliseum since it's not open yet. Not that I want it to be open right now, just because our Pokemon quite aren't up to snuff for that place just yet. But still, we we did um, do a lot, so what I'm actually going to do is we can actually find other battle CDs scattered throughout the Ore region. So what I'm going to do is have a little montage of where they are. You want to check bookcases in the areas that you've already been to, and you might find them. So let's have ourselves a little montage. Right over here in the Krabby Club, there's this battle CD that is where um, Mr. Verich was. Mr. Verich didn't need it anymore, so okay. Guess he's into that. Also, these two are performing. That's neat. Good for them. Good for them. And they're just blowing bubbles on the crowd. Yep, I'm speechless. You can actually enter Chobin's room here in Dr. Kaminko's lab and he'll just say like the doctor is busy developing a secret robo. Wait, did they misspell board? No, they didn't. I thought they used the other spelling for board. Do you have a thing here? No? Oh. Okay, she keeps taking things from the manor and hiding them under this floor. Of course, the things she takes are not needed, so that in itself is not a problem for Chobin. That space is open to below, so it could be dangerous if anything were to fall. Okay. Um. Sure. Can Chobin ask if you inspect the crane room on occasion from now on? Sure. Let's inspect this crane room. Oh, and he'll let us take things. Okay. Well, this gives us a little, like, interesting mechanic here. So, there's all of these different cranes. What you want to do is just, like, press A if there's, like, a crane right above you. And then you'll just ride it. It's pretty dangerous, but... Okay. And... There's... 
nothing over there, so I'm gonna go this way. This gives us a little look below at what's going on in the lab. We can't enter through uh, Dr. Kaminko's part, but still... There's some interesting things here to see. And this will just take us over here. Is this a battle CD? It is, Battle CD 05. Cool, cool. And in here, ooh, if I remember correctly, it's in this box is pretty fun. It's filled with stacks of white paper. There is writing on them. Top secret, the Pokemon HQ Lab has a secret room somewhere. Doesn't look like anybody knows where it is. Chovy will find it first and make it a secret base. That is interesting. Now, as we progress through the game, Jovi will store some more papers here. Just, they're not important or anything, just neat little side things. And, you know, I might show them off later on as well, just because some of them could be funny. I think Chobin actually ends up writing in one of the papers later on. So, that's a thing. Just to make sure there is nothing over here, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I guess now back to finding some more battle CDs. Okay, so I don't think... Yeah. So those two battle CDs we got, I think those are the only ones that we can get right now. I don't think the ones that we can check like in other people's like bookshelves in houses will give us battle CDs just yet, just because I went to a few places and like, oh, can't do this thing just yet. So I think we need to progress a little bit further before we can get battle CDs off people's bookshelves. But yeah, anyways, we had fun at Relgum Tower. Nice little bit of a distraction, but we do have to go to Fennec City. We do need to tell the mayor that uh, Cypher is going to attack. But we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. And see y'all next time for some more Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Later!